How are you grade 4 learners? We are still in 4th quarter. This is week 4. Data involving 2 variables. After going through this lesson, you are expected to collect data on 2 variables using N source and organizes data in tabular form and presents them in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. The activities contained in this slip will help you master the following learning competencies at the end of the lesson. Collect, organize, and present data on two variables in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. To start, study the following example and analyze how the given data are collected, organized, and presented. Example, Abel loves to help picking pineapples from their family's farm. Every day, he picks pineapples. Let's help him count how many pineapples he gathers for one week. Let us tally the number of pineapples gathered using this template. On Monday, 12 pineapples. On Tuesday, 10 pineapples. On Wednesday, there are 9 pineapples. Thursday, 11 pineapples. Friday, 15 pineapples. Saturday, 20 pineapples, and 18 pineapples on Sunday. Using the table, we can easily answer the following questions below. What is the data all about? On what day is the least number of pineapples gathered? What is the greatest number of pineapples gathered? How many more pineapples gathered on Monday than on Tuesday? And what is the difference between the number of pineapples collected on Thursday and Friday? The data can also be presented in a horizontal or vertical bar graph. How can it be done? We can construct a horizontal or vertical bar graph by the following the steps below. Step 1, draw the vertical and horizontal axis. Step 2, label the horizontal and vertical axis. Step 3, find the highest number in the data. Step 4, make a scale from 0 to the highest number in the table. Step 5. Draw horizontal or vertical bars to represent the number of pineapples gathered each day. Step 6. Write the title of the bar graph. Here is the bar graph. A graph tells a story about the data or information given. A bar graph is one way of presenting set of data which can either be vertical or horizontal in form. It can be used to show and compare information. Double bar graphs help us to compare or present more than one kind of information instead of just one by using bars. Double bar graphs can be vertical or horizontal. For your learning task 1, 
conduct a survey of the favorite fruit of your classmate and or friends. Ten boys and ten girls by sending them messages on messenger or SMS. Use the table to record the data. Then answer the following questions. What is the set of data all about? Which fruit is the favorite among the girls, among the boys? What is the least favorite fruit among the girls, among the boys? What is the top choice fruit of boys and girls? And what is the least favorite fruit of boys and girls? For learning task 2, Ramil and Maria harvested vegetables in their farm. Data is shown in the table below. Let us find out first the total harvested in kilograms of Ramil and Maria for each vegetables. So for okra, 30 plus 30 equals 60. For eggplant, 20 plus 20 equals 40. Squash, 25. Pechay, 20. And Ampalaya, 45. Then answer the following questions. What is the set of data all about? What vegetable has the highest weight harvested by Ramil and Maria? What vegetable harvested by Ramil was the least in weight? What vegetable harvested by Maria has the highest weight? And how many kilograms of vegetables has the highest weight harvested by both Ramil and Maria? For your learning task 3, analyze the table bar graph below by answering the questions that follow. What is the title of the double horizontal bar graph? What information is being placed along the horizontal axis? Along the vertical axis? What different groups of data are being compared? What book is the most favorite of the students? How many students like math books? You can organize data in a tabular form and present it in a single or double vertical or horizontal bar graph. Here is the sample table on your friend's favorite vegetables. How can this be presented in a graph? And here is the bar graph. Do not forget the vertical and horizontal axis. Label the horizontal and vertical axis. Find the highest number in the data. Make a scale from 0 to the highest number in the table. Draw horizontal or vertical bars to represent the number of favorite vegetables and write the title of the bar graph. For learning task 4, construct a horizontal bar graph with the given data in the table below, then answer the following questions. Do this in your notebook. And this is the bar graph. Let us answer the following questions. Who got the highest score? Who got the least score? What is the difference of the score of Maria and Marites? What is the total scores of Rowena and Arman? 
What is the difference between combined scores of Kemp and Maria? To the combined scores of Marites and Rowena. Learning Task 5 Construct a vertical bar graph with the given data in the table below. Do this in your notebook. Then answer the following questions. How many melons were sold on Wednesday? What day has the highest number of melons sold? What day has the least number of melons sold? How many melons were sold on Monday and Tuesday? And how many melons were sold on weekdays? Maraming salamat muli sa pagsama nyo sa atin sa ating video. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang ating video, please like and subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago pang darating na videos. Pwede kayo mag-comment at syempre, please share this to your classmates. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!